Run a bit late to be at Tamo. Should be on the canal road here in Chiang Mai. Not much traffic, not much traffic. Very popular cycling road. So we're here cycling on the road to Chom Tong. This would have to be one of, literally one of the fastest roads in the world. We had no wind that day, no tailwind, no headwind really. But we were just zooming along. Zooming along. This tarmac is such high quality. Look at the speed run. About 34k an hour at 2.5 watts per kilo. That's insane. In Australia, we're doing 25k an hour. Tamo, the man mountain with his sugarcane juice and his running shoes on a heavy steel bike. Legs of steel. It's like he's stolen legs from a horse. The man goes all day and night. He's riding along here on his hybrid bike, just an ultra marathon runner. A man of persistence. Harry's up the front there. Beautiful little temples here in Thailand, full of temples. Fantastic roads for riding. Best cycling, I mean, traffic-wise, the best best traffic in the world. Best traffic in the world. This is the start of Dointon on the Strava segment. So pay attention. You'll see the Golden Temple there. And this is a bridge where the segment starts. So if you want to do a Strava segment, this is where it starts for Doi into Non, the two coconut palms, little temple there, another temple there, and then you go right. You go right. First, though, you have to get your little ticket from the National Park. It costs you about 210 baht or $7. So get your ticket, turn around, go back down to the start of the segment, and then come back up, and they'll just wave you through. Very, very cool, very cool little National Park. Here's a little view from near the top. Magical, look at that. Very clear day today at Doi Tanon. Normally it's cloudy. We're treated with spectacular views. Some pretty cool, funky rainforests up there. Uh, pine trees down below. You're around 2,500 metres elevation. There's a lot, of, a lot of green to be seen. A lot of green to be seen. Steep, steep climb. That's how high are we up? The Thai National Observatory. It's got one of those little, uh, little space thingy. Observatory ever, like a telescope up the outer space. That's how high we are. Again, highest place in Thailand, man. Does your dot, like, there's no paleo crew up here. You need a shitload of energy to get up here. This is stamina. This is reflection for life. Life's like a mountain. You won't get shit done in your life relative to what you could do to your potential if you don't have enough water and sugar to sleep in your system. You won't, man. You will not reach your potential. You will not reach your natural summit, your natural potential without enough sleep, water, sugar. It doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. Like if you've got a family or whatever, you need more calories than I do, man. I ain't got no kids. I'm fucking on holiday 24-7, 365, man. If you've got kids, you're watching this with kids, you need more carbs than me, man. It takes way more fucking energy to be a good parent than it does to be a, to be a good cyclist, man. Way more carbs. Way more carbs. <laughs> So this is what you see when you get up here, just on the security base, and it's 2565 meters elevation, not too bad, not too bad at all for an easy morning on the bike. Let me get some water, get some carbs, and head back down to Chiang Mai. It's about 100 kilometers from Chiang Mai, do it into nine. Uh, plenty of places to get water and, and sugar on the way, fruits and fruit juices, so you know, not worries there. Um, definitely eat before you're hungry and drink before you're thirsty. Good place to swim. There's a big water. There's a big waterfall behind me. I'm going to dip in the water. Hot man, hot up the pond. The pond's a mixture of surfaces. Very smooth. Bit a little bit rough. Very hot and dry. Hot and dry. Bit of roadworks here. An interesting climb. Interesting indeed. So we're back on the world's fastest road again. Heading back to Chiang Mai. We did about 220 k's that day. We rode down there. Went up the mountain, down the mountain, back home. Here's Tamo on his beast. The old Trek 1995 special from 1995. Incredible guys. These guys just did it, man. They, they got the job done. Harry and Tamo. Harry's a 248 marathoner. Tamo's a 100-mile runner. Both vegans, both men of extreme endurance and extreme fitness. You won't find 
fitter runners in Thailand perhaps than these two. Speed and distance. Heading back into Chiang Mai. Welcome to Chiang Mai. Beautiful ride. A day I'll remember forever. So here we have the little stats for the day. About 224Ks, 4,000 meters elevation. I went back a little bit and I caught up with Harry, went back up again a little bit. But almost nine hours riding moving time. So we started in Chiang Mai, went down the valley, the world's fastest road. This is the world's, this is where the world's fastest road lives from Chiang Mai to Chom Tong. And then to turn right up Chom Tong and head up to Doi in Tanon. As you can see here, pretty very flat. It's flat and fast. And then bam. Bam. Kicks in. This is like it's a little bit rolling, but you see the 21% grades. 24% grade. It gets fucking steep, man. I rate myself as a climber. I was struggling in the 3927. 50% gradient. This is what we're talking about, man. It, it's insane. It's insane. I'm, I'm not going to do this climb again unless I got the 3432. Just a nuts climb. I mean, you can. It's just because it's so long. If it was a shorter climb, yeah, you could maybe grind it out. But you're just going, you know, you, you're doing hitting 26 percent gradient after five hours of riding, and then the last bit just keeps kicking up, just keeps kicking up, just holds on like a python wrapping around your legs, just taking you out. So it just kicks up, you know, some 17s, and, and there's some little dips there. So you think, oh, I've gotten to the top. I'm at the top. Nut, nah, start again. <laughs> it just keeps going. It is a killer. So I went to the top and then went back down. Saw Harry coming up, did a U-in, came back up again. So that's my tip is uh, definitely you want to be have your gearing. I'd recommend a minimum 34, 32 like Contador uses. It's a beautiful climb. You definitely got to do it. Put it on your bucket list. It's a magic climb. Magic. Definitely uh, just it's like a... I don't need to do drugs because doing stuff like this gets me off my face.